What's up ghouls, it's Blaze and welcome back to my channel. Today I have um, a different type of video, I've never really filmed anything like this so please bear with me for like camera angles and um, I don't know, just like the quality but um, as you can tell I'm doing a pack with me video so um, I am going my phone's going off <laughs> I am going to Milan for the weekend um, with my boyfriend, his mum and her partner um, I've never been to Italy so I'm super super excited one of the main things I'm excited for is Sephora I've never been to Sephora in my life I cannot wait it's going to be really really cool so I'm hella excited yeah so let's just get on with it as I feel this could be a slightly long video um, so I'm only going for the weekend I leave to go to Gatwick on Thursday and then I fly Friday morning and I fly home Sunday midday so it's not the longest trip um, purely because of um, Jake's mum's holiday like booked off work so we couldn't go for mega long um, yeah but I'm really really excited so this is the suitcase I've got it's like the least goth thing ever <laughs> Um, it's covered in unicorns and stars, um, seems kind of excessive for just a small like weekend trip but I'm planning on buying many things. Um, so it's from the brand It Luggage and it is super lightweight, like I can just like fling it about, or about, I can fling it around with one hand, it's really not very heavy at all. Um, and I bought this particular suitcase because it is the like maximum cabin size for the moment maximum cabin size for majority of um, airlines so I double checked with the airline that I'm flying with and it definitely fits in with their strict measurements so I'm going to be absolutely fine and that includes like the wheels and the handles the only thing that I would change about it is that it's only like a two wheeled one not four wheeled which is a little bit annoying but I'll deal so it's got one big pocket here and then as you open it up it's just one main compartment and then you've got like um, these kind of pockets here um, so you could put like whatever in there um, and then I've just got my little spooky box club bat thingy which tells you like my name and my address in case I lose my luggage obviously I'm not going to show you that so <laughs> that's the let's just get right into it oh my god she's literally all I need can you just come with me to Italy yeah you come with mommy Okay, so please excuse me if the angles are really rubbish. Like I said, I've never filmed um, any kind of video like this before. So, um, yeah. All right, I'm going to start with um, shoes. So I'm going to be wearing my Killstar platforms, something like burial platforms or something, I can't remember. Um, but they'll be in my Killstar shoe haul, which will be linked below. Um, and then, because it's a short trip, I'm only taking one other pair of shoes and that is these Killstar little shoes. So uh, my platforms will be used like if we go out in the evening or if we go on like short trips, but for like a long day of sightseeing or whatever, I'm gonna be wearing these because they're flat, they're really comfortable and they look cute. I'm gonna be using this um, shoe bag that I got from Spooky Box Club. I know you can buy some things individually on their website, so I'm not sure, but they possibly have that available. I don't know, but I'm sure you could find something online. So I'm just using this so that um, I don't get the rest of my luggage dirty. So it may take up a little bit more space than I would like, but at least it's going to keep everything clean. So that's my shoes. Next I'm going to do pyjamas. I just bought these Ravenclaw pyjamas from Primark. Um, I've never worn them so they're nice and fresh and clean for my trip. So I'm, I'm definitely going for the, the rolling your clothes trip tip trick um, and I'm going to be putting these on like the top um, because like I said we're staying in a hotel um, near Gatwick the night before because it's an early flight so I'm going to need these on hand to be able to um, go to bed. So in order to make sure I don't forget anything I'm going to be doing it in um, 
days. So day one, so airport day and shopping day, I'm going to be wearing this cohort set from Misguided, so it's the Barbie uh, Misguided collab. So it's like a cropped hoodie and a matching skirt. And the reason I'm wearing this is because it's so ridiculously comfortable that like while I'm flying, while I'm traveling, whatever, walking, it's just gonna be really, really comfy. And um, the weather looked really nice, but um, as I checked earlier on, looks like it's gonna be stormy, which is absolutely fantastic. So at least I'll be nice and cozy in this hoodie combo. Um, these co this code will be linked down below if you're interested, uh, if you wanna check it out. So I'm gonna be wearing those with these pink large whale neck tights. I got these from Topshop. Um, these were £6.50, which is kind of overpriced, but it's the only uh, like pink fishnets I could find without having to buy them on eBay and waiting forever. So I'm gonna be wearing those. This is like the least goth outfit ever, but I don't care because it's cute, so yeah. And then I've also got these glasses to wear with it. Um, again, super bougie, I don't care. Um, so again, they'll probably, that's dependent on the weather. So I'm not sure about those, but I'm definitely gonna take them. I just don't know if I'm gonna wear them. Then I'm also going to be wearing this super cute little headband which I bought on eBay. It took a while to get here but I'm obsessed. Definitely going to be wearing that so I'm just going to squidge that in. So for day two, my like main full day in Milan, I'm going to be wearing this dress here. Um, so it's like a super mystic-y, witchy print dress from H&M and it's shorter in the front and longer in the back. Um, so it's got like a, a tight underlayer and then it's just a big flowy um, mess of fabric. So that is my day two outfit. It's just really comfy, really easy to throw on. Um, and I'm gonna be wearing it with these sunglasses, which are from Primark. Again, weather dependent. And then um, I will be wearing a jacket uh, to the airport. So. I don't need to pack that, but it'll probably be my Killstar one, and if it's cold, I'll wear it with that. So my final day, I'm gonna be wearing another cohort because your girl's obsessed. It's going to be this cherry print crop top with these tiny little sleeves, and then these cherry print high-waisted and flared trousers. Again, these are from Misguided. And they're super, super cute. They're just gonna be really nice and comfy and for the flight back, I'll be cozy because they're not like tight fitting. They're just nice and free flowing. So that's gonna be really cozy. And the good thing about this is it just, they just take up literally no room. Like this little crop top, it's just like in, done. Can't even tell. I'm just gonna pop in my underwear and stuff. Okay, so I'm going to be taking my Killstar handbag because obviously I'm going to need something as I'm going about doing my sightseeing and whatever. So I'm going to be taking this, so I have the idea to shove my um, my underwear in here to, obviously if I'm going to be putting that in there I may as well fill it with stuff. So I'm going to put my sunglasses in there too because I know that they'll be protected. That can just squish in. Bits around it. Okay, for my like makeup and beauty products, I'm going to be taking this makeup bag so it's just clear so you can see exactly what I'm doing. It's got a little bit of brushes on the inside and it's got a little pocket here as well if I need that. So, for the makeup I'm taking, I've decided to pick stuff that is um, quite inexpensive and if I lose it, smash it, gets confiscated at the airport, whatever, um, I'm not gonna be too asked about it. So I've just got like an old moisturizer that's got like barely anything in it, but that's like a liquidy thing, so that's gonna have to go separate. And then same for primer, it's just like an old NYX one that was given to me, I didn't pay for this, so um, I'm not too bummed if I lose it. So that's got to go in separately. Then I am taking my Urban Decay Quick Fix thingy, uh, spray 
but I'm not too bothered if I lose it because I'm not that keen on it, but it'll do for while I'm away. Then for my foundation, I'm taking this um, foundation stick from Revolution. I do really like this foundation, um, but it's just really cheap and affordable. So if I lose it or whatever, it doesn't matter. And I do have a backup anyway. Pop that in there. For concealer, again, I'm going for Revolution in the lightest shade. Um, this is only four pounds, so if I lose it, I'm not too bothered. I'm taking this one heck of a block powder. It comes with a little powder thingy, so it's okay. And then, yeah, I don't really use this that often, so if it disappears, I don't care. I'm taking this NYX contour um, pan. It's one of their refillable ones. Um, not my favourite, but definitely usable. And then I'm taking my ColourPop um, highlighter in Flexitarian. Um, I do really, really like this, but it's just so small and compact compared to all my other highlighters. So I'm going to be taking that one. Then for brows, my trusty NYX brow pencil. I have a backup of this anyway, so I'm not too bothered about that. And for eyeliner, I'm taking my uh, tattoo liner from Kat Von D because, again, I have a backup, I'm not too bothered. And then I'm taking my Star Stamp liner from Body Shop because I have many backups of those. Um, I'm not really going to be doing a lot of fancy eyeshadow or anything because I really can't be bothered while I'm away. I just want to be there enjoying myself. So I'm not going to be taking any eyeshadows. I will be taking a couple of colourful eyeliners in case I need to, um, in case I want to jazz up any look. So I'm taking a red and a lilac to match the outfits that I've got planned. And then for mascara, I'm taking my Too Faced Better Than Sex because this one has almost run out. So I have like a spare, so it doesn't matter if I lose this because it's almost done anyway. Then I'm taking a few lip options. So I've got a black, a red, a kind of called Dash, I, would, I don't know how to describe it but I do like it, and then Lovecraft uh, mini sample. So all of these are inexpensive and this one was a freebie like tester so I'm not too bothered if I lose any of those. And then I'm going to be taking my EOS lip balm because it's almost out so I may as well use it up. And then I'm only really taking these brushes, so I've got my uh, foundation brush which is the Pro 4F from the It's Likely Makeup Furless collab. This definitely needs a wash. And then I'm taking my Real Techniques Bold Metals collection, or whatever it is, in 100. I'm taking 301 for contour, and then the Real Techniques contour brush, because I really like this for a highlight. So I am gonna wash these, I promise. Pop them in there. Then I've got oh, a little toothbrush holder with my toothbrush in. I haven't used this one before. It's one of their charcoal ones from Primark. I just thought that, you know, it's easy to just take a nice, clean, unused one away. Then got my hairbrush with a little unicorn handle thing. This was, again, from Primark, and it's super cute. So I definitely like that. Um, in terms of accessories, so far, um, I've only got these little um, stretchy diamante type things to wear with my Barbie co-ord. So I'm just going to pop those in there, not too bothered about those. I think I'm going to downsize to a smaller makeup bag actually because I'm literally taking like no makeup. So there's no point filling up my suitcase with this massive thing if I'm only taking a few select bits. So i um, definitely going to change that I think. And then I've got my selfie stick for vlogging on my iPhone, so I'll just pop that in there. And then my little iPhone stand for if I'm vlogging in the um, Airbnb, so I can film like getting ready in the mornings. And then I've got my passport in my passport holder from Spooky Box Club, which, ah, 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 pumpkin's chewing my hairband, no. No. Um, which I will be popping in here on the day because I'm not able to take a handbag as well as hand luggage so I need that um, to reach easily and I am going to be popping this over my suitcase once it's all done to keep everything safe and purely just because I want to use it and this was from Spooky Box Club as well 
And then, so we have something to do on the plane, I'm going to be taking my iPad in this case, which was from Spooky Box Club. Literally, Spooky Box Club has come like in handy so many times. So I've just got my iPad in there, and I'll be able to pop some earphones in there too, and slip that in there as well. In terms of my camera, um, Jake's going to be taking that in his backpack because he's not really going to need that much stuff while we're away. So my camera is going to be in uh, Jake's hand luggage. And that's all I've got for now because other things like my medication and paperwork all needs to be sorted out still. And then there's things that I'm still using like chargers and hair straighteners so they're not going to be going in here just yet. But that is the general gist of it. Um, yeah. Okay, so I've opted for this small little makeup bag, which says Magical Supplies, again from Spooky Box Club, because it is much, much smaller than that big thing. So I'm going to just squash that in there. So that's all my makeup for the weekend sorted, and then I just pop my hairbrush in, and my toothbrush holder, and then anything like um, deodorant and little hairsprays and stuff like that, I'm either just gonna buy there, or I'm just gonna get little miniatures, which I don't currently have. Um, yeah, so that is pretty much everything. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it's been either A, entertaining to watch or B, useful if you too are going on like a short weekend break and you're not sure what to pack. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm packing. I've not been abroad for absolutely ages. And like whenever I've been away, it's always been with like my mum or my dad. So I've kind of had someone there to tell me what to do and what to take. So this is a little bit different, but I am excited nonetheless. Um, let me know in the comments what holidays you're going on this year. Um, I'd love to know. And if you are going away, I hope you have a hell of a good time. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.